Hi, welcome to the video on how to use your Breg Polar Ice Machine at home. Just a few tips first of all. When we open up the Breg, one way is lock, the other way opens. This is how you're gonna refill the device. When you get the device at home, it's going to have no water in it, no ice in it. So if you carefully take the top off, there will, if there's water in, I've already pre-filled some water in here. There is some magical lines, so you cannot get it wrong. If I'm just gonna turn that around there for you, you can see the line. You fill up with water to the bottom line and ice cubes to the top. If you're using this at home and using it daily, I would say going to the service station and grabbing just a five kilogram bag of ice, that will probably be the quickest and easiest way. So all you literally have to do is enter, it, copy the amount of ice to fill it up. So I'm going to pop two in. It might not be quite full. It still will work for the purpose of showing and demonstrating to you how to work. Now, the bread polar ice is commonly used postoperatively after knee surgery, in particular ACLs and meniscectomies, and sometimes total knee replacements as well. This pops back on after that. So making sure it fits in nicely, relock it or it won't work when we press start. So the other time you may find we might give this to you is after an ankle surgery, okay? The setup of the break is gonna be the same, it's just the different device we use. But for the knee, Velcro, undo. The blue attachment will go on the bottom. Place this under the knee. Where the slits are is around the knee joint. It doesn't matter if you're off a little bit and you wanna turn it around to get the majority covered. Okay, it can be a little bit annoying when you're first putting on the Velcro, particularly if your knee's a little bit sore. So you might need the help of someone else to actually do all this up for you. Okay, once you've done that, you will then get the attachment that matches. Now, one way connects in, easy way to remember, the two logos, click into each other and you're in. Okay, once you've got that there, coming over, pressing the power button on. Now there's not much on here other than the big snowflake is super cold and not so cold with compression, extra compression, lighter compression. We do recommend if you press the button here, swaps between the colder option and the higher compression option if you can tolerate it. Once you've done that, you should now be able to hear, once it's set, it is starting to inflate and the cold water is now cycling through. This machine does not automatically turn off after a certain time period. So go with your physio's recommended advice, up to 15 minutes, max of 20, before I would definitely say, give it a break and take it off. Turning it off is just as simple as we turned it on. Hold the power button, it'll start to turn off. Disconnecting the break, the two little clips, undo. Now, in order to maximize the use, if you're using this in a day, you can just re-top up some ice. So for one day, I'd leave the same water, same ice in, and then empty it out at the end of each day, just so you don't get sort of dew moss developing. And then you can refill the water and fresh ice the next day when you're using it. But for the sake of using it for the same day, leave it and just a nice top up. Have fun.